Hi, I'm Pete Ellihorse with Crown Plastics Company, and welcome to this edition of Make It Stick. This is the video series where we take our DuraSurf UHMW product, and using our exclusive technology, we were able to take UHMW and using surface preparation and correct adhesive selection, are able to get UHMW to bond in a wide variety of difficult to adhere to substrates. Now in this edition, we're gonna be talking about powder coated steel. Now again, powder coating can be a challenge because powder coating is designed to provide a release surface. Nothing is designed to stick to it. But what we'd like to do is show you some unique applications of how you can get UHMW into these applications and we can help you make it stick. Today our challenge in Make It Stick is working with a powder coated surface. Now you're going to see these powder coated surfaces in a wide variety of industries. It could be agricultural, it could be food processing, it could be conveyors and chutes and package distribution. And in many cases all of these surfaces are going to be considered low surface energy which means they're not going to be very easy to bond to. So these are things we got to take into consideration when we're making our adhesive selection. Now again, surface preparation is going to be critical. If it's a new freshly coated surface, you can get by with just an isopropyl wipe down. But if we're dealing with something that's been out in the field, say for instance we are working on shoots in a distribution facility where there may be a lot of label stock and things that are stuck on there and they haven't been cleaned properly, again we're going to have to go in with the acetone or MEK, remove as much of that contamination as possible and then do the secondary wipe. But the key component to remember is that we're dealing with a low surface energy substrate. So we're going to have to make sure that the adhesive selection that we use is designed to bond to these low surface energy substrates. Now again, in most cases the powder coated surface is going to be very smooth, which again is very conducive for a pressure sensitive system. The smoother the better. In this application what we're actually going to be using is an Avery 1198, which is a cross-linked rubber adhesive and the rubbers are typically going to give you your highest level of bond. Say for instance if it, could be, if it was going to be an outdoor application we'd be, used to use, we'd be forced to use an acrylic adhesive system because the acrylics are going to be providing you better UV stability, better temperature resistance, better moisture resistance. Okay? But say for instance in this case we're looking at a chute for a package distribution facility you can go with the, uh, the rubber adhesive system it's going to work fine. Now this 1198 is a cross-linked rubber which has very, very high adhesion, very, very high shear strength. So again, you can bond that down, and again, using pressure, where we will literally double the bond strength, you can get these pressure sensitive systems to bond very, very well to powder coated surfaces. Now again, you do occasionally come across some powder coated surfaces that do have somewhat of a slight texture. But in most cases, even with the slight texture, the pressure sensitive systems are going to work for you. So as you can see, we were able to get our DuraSurf UHMW product to bond to the powder coated steel, but there were a couple things we had to keep in mind. Number one, making sure that that surface was cleaned properly and making sure that there wasn't any contamination on there. But number two, the critical component was making sure we used the proper adhesive selection. In dealing with the powder coated substrate, we had to make sure that we used an adhesive that was designed to bond to low surface energy substrates. And number three, making sure that we use a roller and apply mechanical pressure. By using those three techniques, we were able to get the UHMW to adhere to almost any powder coated surface. And again, make it stick. If you have a difficult to adhere to application that you would like to see demonstrated here on Make It Stick, please send us information at crownplastics.com and we will make it stick for you.